I'm not here to peer pressure you into not following the law, but I mean, if you don't get caught, did you really do it? <laughs> did you really do it? What the fuck is up? We're back for another fucking video. Seriously, look at me, just take a fucking minute. If this is your first time here, I'm Dom Twilight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know what we're talking about today? How to not give a fuck. Of course you know what we're talking about today. It's an essential part of life. Um, and if you don't know, you're about to. I'm over here getting social anxiety and I'm not even talking to anybody. <laughs> We're back again today for another video. You can see I'm hitting you guys with some, some all natural sunlight on this beautiful day. We're talking about something everybody needs to know in life. How to not give a f We're gonna be diving into the nitty gritty. Oh my gosh. Stabbing into everything you need to know, in my opinion. Is this for real? We're gonna be diving into everything you need to know on how to not give a fuck. I'm not really sure what the best way to say that is, but let's just get right into it. Handy dandy notebook, back at it again. Let's just go right into the section. Where is she at? Uh, here we are. How to not give a fuck. In eight steps, okay? Number one. Number one is gonna be to build your confidence. And matter of fact, I just made a video about that, so check it out, okay. Confident people don't give a fuck because if they did, they wouldn't be confident. You know what I mean? You can't strut through the town looking all types of good if you're worried about somebody else's links. Be that bitch, okay? That bitch that nobody says anything to because they know she's that bitch. Or he, or they, whatever, whatever. Period. Period. You need to love yourself so much that you wouldn't understand why somebody wouldn't like you. That's confidence. Number two, remember that only you know what's best for you. If your parents are saying they know what's best for you, that's not always true. It's not true. No one can know you better than yourself, okay? I don't care who tells you what. I know sometimes people think they, you know, they can catch your next move sometimes here or there. You know what I mean? But they don't always know, only you know you. You talk to yourself the most, you hang out with yourself the most. They don't know what you're thinking, they don't know what you're going through every single day in your life. So who gives a fuck about what they have to say about what you're doing? Their opinion is coming based off of their own life experiences. Even me giving you my advice right now is just coming from my perspective, my point of view, the things that I've gone through. So it you know, may or may not help you, may or may not even apply to you. Always consider that. Nobody knows what happens behind the scenes. All your hard work could be paying off and it looks like you're not doing shit. And they don't even see it going. They're over here like, oh, when are you gonna get a real job? When are you gonna do that? This and the third. But you're really making money moves. And they don't even know, okay? They don't even know, so who cares? Number three, I like to call it ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Thought I'd be poetic there, okay? Basically, we're all gonna die. Everybody's gonna die someday, so why are we really taking somebody else's opinion that seriously? In this lifetime, you only have one chance to be yourself, tell your own story. Don't let somebody else ruin that opportunity because you're worried they might not like it. Can't please everybody. If you make some wild choices, if you're just a wild person in general, no one's gonna give a shit after you're nine feet fucking deep. Or is it six feet? whatever you know whatever <laughs> creamed nine feet six feet deep doesn't matter doesn't really matter the next generation is going to come on and they're going to do the exact same thing as you did and they know it's not going to be revolutionary it's going to be normal fuck it that's the motto you will never get the moment back live in the now live in the moment experience life exactly how you want to experience it because if you hold back if you hesitate I don't believe in regrets, but you might regret that <laughs> later down the line, okay? You might regret it. And I don't believe in regrets because everything happens for a reason. So, you know, if I get fucked over today, it doesn't make a difference. I could have been fucked over tomorrow if I would have dodged it. What's meant for you is meant for you, okay? So it's coming regardless. Number four, there's an infinite number of life forms on this planet, you know, let alone in the galaxy, in, in the universe. You are just one little speck in that huge puzzle. You're just one little piece. 
no one cares. Everybody is on their own mission, doing their own thing, trying to achieve something before they die. So what does it matter what you're doing? If you offend somebody today, they're still gonna go on and start thinking about themselves tomorrow. You're not gonna be in the back of their brain, at least most people. They're not gonna be thinking about your new style, how you're changing careers, how you're not having a career, how you're not going to school. They're not gonna be thinking about that kind of stuff because they care about themselves. Imagine how many people are out there dreaming about living an authentic life. That's why we have so much jealousy. People are upset that somebody else is living the life that they wish they could live. I mean, how many how many celebrities get hated on daily? How many rich people get hated on daily just because they're rich? That's another topic though. People don't get what they want. They're going to emit hate. And listen, if someone's not hating on you, you're doing it wrong. Number five, there's always going to be someone that hates you. I say fuck them, fuck them. It's not your job to make somebody else happy. It's not your job to please somebody. It's not your job to make somebody like you. It's not. It's your job to be your authentic self. So don't worry about the next guy. Worry about the next guy. Don't worry about the next guy. The next guy. Mm -hmm. Mm, the next guy mm. you could be saving the world and somebody would still hate on you it's always gonna be that one motherfucker that one bitch say fuck them some great advice that i received was don't take the positive or the negative feedback to heart don't take it personally they're both equally meaningless <laughs> even though the validation is nice to have once in a while you can't let it override the fact it's all coming from someone's opinion and that same person that's loving on you today could be a fucking hater tomorrow. Could be a fucking hater. Don't fall for it, okay? Number six, isolate yourself. Please and thank you. Our entire lives, our family, our friends, coworkers, everybody you come in contact with influence our daily behaviors. So if you really wanna get, you know, a knowing of yourself, take some time in isolation i talked about this in the confidence video but keeping isolation will make you very confident which in turn makes you not give a fuck <laughs> when you're by yourself and you really don't care because there's nobody to care really so you're careless the more time you spend by yourself the more you get used to your authentic personality and so when you go out to see your family and your friends you're going to be less afraid of giving off your natural persona whereas if you spend so much time with with people who have very set minds you don't want to be the odd person out so you're gonna try to you know follow the fucking follow the leader and little sheeps in a little motherfucking pack don't do that by the way think think on your own one way to avoid really following the pack is to just spend time by yourself get to know yourself think about the things that you grew up with and whether or not you really agree with those things still whether or not you believe in them, religion, your personal style, the food that you eat, uh, the things that you care about, your priorities in life. Break down all that good stuff. And that leads perfectly into one of the next steps, actually. Number seven, question the authorities. Question the authorities in your house, parental figures, whatever it may be, whoever's above you setting rules or laws above your head question them and i don't mean get into you know full-blown fucking arguments but unless you really want to what i mean by questioning the authorities is to just look at the rules that are in place and decide whether or not you agree with those rules or whether or not you want to follow them when i look at a law i think about it for myself i think does this law apply to me and would it benefit me in any way really to follow it would it be a hindrance to me to follow this law <laughs> the answer is yes it's a no for me baby if you live your life without questioning the authorities or the rules you're not living your life authentically you're living by a blueprint that somebody else made and until you make your own rules will you truly not give a fuck listen i'm not i'm not here to peer pressure you into not following the law but i mean if you don't get caught did you really do it <laughs> did you really do it i know this sounds kind of outlandish but if you really think about it if we just came onto this earth and we were plopped onto this earth 
there wouldn't be any fucking rules. It would just be life. I just don't believe people were placed on this earth to follow all these damn rules. <laughs> Sorry. Did I lie? Did I lie? Laws and rules are the only thing that holds us back within a civilized society. So those are the things that you need to look at. My honest opinion, make sure you agree with the laws and the rules that you follow. And if you don't agree with them, say fuck them. I mean, shit, do I really need to bring you another beautiful quote? If I'd observed all the rules, I'd never have gotten anywhere. That's a fucking jam right there. Number eight, check yourself when you notice that you start giving a fuck. <laughs> if you put on an outfit, if you go outside and you're doing something crazy and you notice that you start worrying about what somebody, July 4th, happy Juneteenth. And you realize your mind starts working like, oh my goodness, what are they thinking about? What you need to do is stop, drop and roll. It's a fire. <laughs> No. What you need to do is stop and check yourself. And again, you know, I keep repeating the same stuff that was in the previous video because they link up so well, but you need to start questioning those things. Question why you're feeling that way and find the root of the problem. Once you find the root of the problem, all you have to do is solve it. And this is closely tied to your insecurities as well. Anything that you realize you start caring what other people think about is probably a slight insecurity. So write that down, journal about it, figure it out, solve the problem. Another successful video on my part. It's Dom Twilight. Thank you again for joining me today. Hit back next week, okay? I don't even release videos on a weekly basis, but hit back next week anyway. Uh, like comment share subscribe as always if you liked it go ahead and hit the like button subscribe for next time hit that notification bell so you always see me check me out on instagram at dom twilight check me out on my alter egos at curly cat at notorious kpb alter egos thank you for joining me once again on this video on how not to get a vibe and yesterday i'm doing a 70s vibe i'm throwing it way back throw it way back and wait did you guys like my 70s look today i was really going for the fluff in the back but god damn i can't get it had to wrap this jumpsuit for you guys hope you like it <laughs> got my little belt too shit we throwing it way back let me know in the comments how you guys like this look if they're just for you <laughs> just kidding did it for myself <laughs> it's a wig 613 baby ice ice baby these earrings are heavy heavier than this ass like comment share subscribe